Welcome to the PowerPoint exam review. From my T Lab, I'm clicking on the link to get to the PowerPoint exam review, and then I will proceed to the download materials. From download materials, first I'll open my instructions. That's the first download link. And I'm going to go ahead and save those in my documents 1010 PowerPoint and exam review folder. And it wants us to open a start file, but before I do that, I notice there's a JPEG file that we'll, we'll need on another step. So I'm going to click on that last download link, and I'm going to save that JPEG to my PowerPoint exam review folder so I know where it is when I need it. And from the instructions, Step number one tells us to open PPT02 Greater A2 Travel. So I'm going to open that from the download materials. It's the second download link. And I'll save it and then it goes down here and I'm going to double click it and open it. When I open that start file, I enable editing in the middle, in the yellow, the top. And I'm going to <coughs> use my windows and hit my left arrow so I can look at my start file and my instructions. The first thing we want to do is save the PowerPoint file. So we're going to do file, save as. And I go to this PC. I have my folder in my documents. So from the navigation pane, I choose documents and open my IT 1010 in the view pane, open my PowerPoint, and I have a PowerPoint exam review folder. For the file name, we're going to type our last name, underscore our first name, your first name, underscore PPT02, underscore SA travel, and save. On the first slide, we want to add a title. So I'm going to click to add title and type employee travel policies. And in the subtitle, I'm going to type presented by Eugene Garner. And make sure you spell everything right. I need to fix Eugene. Okay. Uh, the subtitle that's presented by Eugene Garner. I'm going to select that text box, make it solid. And I want to make it size 32. So from the font group in the home tab, font size, I'll make it 32. Character spacing from the font group, the AV icon takes us to the character spacings and they want it tight. It's on normal now, so I'm going to click on tight and change the font color to black text one. The color is the A with the red, so I'm going to click on that drop down arrow and find black text one. It's in the first row, second column. And moving on to step four, I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow so that I can choose the title and content. Click on title and content and click in the title and type Aspen Falls employee travel. And we want to make it, let's first of all, I select the text box that the title's in, make it solid. And then I can go up here and make the text shadow. That's the S in the middle of the font group right here, text shadow, click on that. And then the character spacing should be loose. So I'm going to click on the AV again and make it loose. In the text below, we are going to type bulleted items. First, we're going to type complete request for attendance form. Hit enter. Type seek permission from immediate supervisor 
and the third one is contact HR for travel arrangement assistance. Then we want to select just request for attendance and we are going to make it italic that's in the font group on the home tab and all of the text in this box which means I'm going to select the box to make it solid I want to make it 28 so instead of 18 on the size I'm going to change it to 28 and that finished up through step 6 step 7 we're going to insert a new slide I'm clicking on the drop down arrow beside new slide so I can choose content with caption and that's the second column third row content with new caption now they want us to take the title text from slide 2 so I'm going to click on slide 2 and select the title text and then I make the box solid control C go to slide 3 and click right on top of the title make it solid and control V and I have pasted my title from 2 to 3 uh, keeping that box solid we want to make 20 24 for the size and then over here on the right side we're going to insert an image so I'm going to click on the picture icon and I'm going to documents IT 1010 PowerPoint my exam review folder and I'm going to double click on that image that I saved when I opened the download files and there's my image uh, moving to step number eight we're gonna go here and type in this text box uh, I'm gonna close this design ideas so in the left text box I am typing responsible travel for growth and development we want to make that a different color so we're going to select the text box again that it's in go to the font size and make it 24 and click on the drop down beside the a for the color font color and we want to choose brown accent 4 so I found the brown column it's the brown column one two three four. I want accent four so it's it's the, the third to the last column first row brown accent four and moving along uh, we are going to I made the size 24 right okay we're going to number nine we're going to insert a new slide and this slide is section header section header slide and we're going to type in the title please contact HR with questions and in the subtitle we are going to type extension 1020 <clears throat> now to format this text we want to use our format painter and we're going to copy what we did to slide 3 so slide 3 this text that we made brown and 24 I'm going to select that text box and make it solid I'm going to double click my format painter go back to slide 4 and I'm going to select the extension 1020 so now you see that it changed to the brown and the larger size now for the text in the title placeholder uh, hit escape to get rid of your paintbrush now I'm going to the please contact HR I'm going to make it solid it wants us to make it a word art style so I'm going to click on the format tab and from word art styles I'm going to maximize my screen so you can see it I'm looking for Phil Brown accent 3 sharp bevel so here's my word art styles and I want Phil Brown Uh, 
Phil Brown accent three sharp bevel. I had to check myself. Phil Brown accent three sharp bevel. So these are my Phil Browns. This is color four. So we want Phil Brown accent color three sharp bevel. Let's try that. And I have 2016, so we'll find out if this works. Click on that one. And we're going to slide four. We want to change our background. We're going to make our background a texture. So I'm going to get out of this text box on slide four. Right click in your background. Choose format background. And we want to go to the gradients. Uh, wait, type. Oh, we have to go up here and we have to pick picture or texture fill. Then you find texture. And we want the recycled paper. So click on recycled paper. Let's see if I got that right. Yes. And the last thing we're going to do is go to our notes and handouts. So we've got to go to insert header and footer. And we want to go to notes and handouts over here, the second tab. We're going to click on date and time and we do want it to update automatically and that's already set. Ch page numbers should be checked and we want to type in the footer the word travel. And we're going to apply to all. And that's it. That is our exam review and that should help us with our exam. I'm going to close the document, save my changes.